Hey, what's up, YouTube? Uh, bringing a little request to you guys. Um, been getting a lot of questions about the Florian uh, 3S uh, lithium polymer battery packs. So um, let's get right to it. Of course, I keep my all my uh, battery stored in uh, lipo guard bags. Um, here are the two packs. I've had these about. Oh crap! They're upside down. Sorry about that. <laughs> These are the two packs. Um, I've used them in the same model, uh, which is my e Revo uh, brushless mama monster. Um, so they've probably been through, I'd say, 34, maybe 50 cycles. Um, they were fully charged um, and ran for about two or three minutes, maybe two months ago. Um, that was during the time I was moving and I just kind of tossed them back in the bag and haven't touched them since um, so I brought brought along the uh, EOS Pack Sentry Field Tester so you guys could check this out um, I'm expecting them to still have a good charge in them um, let's see what happens though, who knows I hope they have a good charge because I have no clue where my charger's at anyways because I just got done moving um, go ahead and plug this in, like so. Okay, I'm not getting this on here. Sorry, guys, I'm going to bring this to the side so I can actually see it. There we go. Alright, and there you have it. It's on lipo mode. 12.42 volts. Let's flip through all the cells. Pack one's at 4.14. Oh, I guess I don't know if you can see that. Let's get back to the uh, mode. Alright, there you go. 12.42. Uh, cell one is at 4.14. Cell two is at 4.14. And cell three is all at 4.14. So this battery is still pretty pretty close to being perfectly balanced and it's holding perfect charge um, uh, 95% I think that's good because I did run these for a few minutes um, before so let's pack number one throw this in here pack number two still really good it's at 12.37 volts 93% Flip through the cells. This one's at 4.13. This one's at 4.15. This is at also at 4.15. That go around. Oh, let me check that. Oh, <laughs> sorry guys, I'm looking at those upside down. So that's 4.12, 4.12, 4.135. So all in all, these packs have been awesome. Um, I was just saw a comment on one of my videos that this is available on GearBest for $20. I don't know how true that is. I do know I've ordered stuff from GearBest. They have a U.S. warehouse. They also have a Chinese, a Shenzhen, Chai Hai uh, warehouse, which shipping from there takes a long time. Um, again, I haven't checked Amazon either, but when I bought these packs, it was 70 for the pair. And that was shipped with... Traxxas connectors on them, so um, even if I had to buy them again for 70, I'd be happy. I'd, I'd pay 80, 90 for them and still be happy. Um, this was a great, great buy. Um, awesome, awesome, awesome buy. The packs are still rock solid. They are not soft. They are not squishy. See on the ends, they're not squishy at all. All the packs look equal. Um, they've they've gone through some bashing. I I run my trucks hard, um, so they they've definitely seen some abuse. One thing they do have for them is that they're in a, a, a e Revo, so they're in an enclosed case. Um, I would still think they'd fare just as well inside of a, you know, a Rustler or a Stampede or something where it's open top. Uh, they might be a little bit more dirty than these ones are, but all in all, great pack for the money. 
I would recommend them to everybody. Uh, I plan on buying some more, especially if they're twenty dollars on GearBest, because I'm I'm planning on building up a, a hexacopter for the spring, and I will definitely be using these packs. I'll probably use these ones and then buy new ones for the E Revo. So. Alright guys, uh, somebody did ask me to get some measurements of these. Unfortunately, I've not been able to find a tape measure anywhere. I can't even find a ruler. Um, but I can tell you this pack is definitely less than 12 inches. If I had to guess, I'd probably say it was about 7 by maybe 1.5 by 1.5. It, it's not huge. Um, yeah, it's not. I don't really have here. I actually have... I have my Galaxy Note 4 to compare it to. Let me make sure there's no um, pertinent information. I'm going to turn my screen off. Alright, so look at that. It's actually about perfectly as, as long as the Galaxy Note 4. So if you know somebody with Galaxy Note 4 with the OtterBox on it, go measure it. It's about the same size. Um, that's the, uh, the width. And. That is the height. I know that was a bad measuring tool, but hey, whatever. All right, guys. Well, let me know what you think. Questions, comments, put those down in that section below. Uh, favorite, like, share, subscribe. Um, and uh, thanks for watching. I really appreciate everybody's support. I love seeing the comments you guys are leaving. And uh, it's awesome when I open that email and see if somebody uh, new has subscribed to the channel. So. Thank you so much, and uh, stay tuned for the next one, guys.